What? <laughs> Listen, bit of a weird question, but do you know where I might find some moonshine? What? Moonshine. You no, know, strong liquor. Over strong. Wow, you want to get over drunk? <laughs> no, it's never tricky. <laughs> what is it for? Oh, I just need some. Well, as luck would have it, you are in the legal hooch capital of America. There's plenty of real booze here. But for shine, well, I guess you can to go out to the woods. I mean, I know you'd have to go out to the woods. Now listen, I don't need that much. How much? About a hundred gallons. Of shine? Yes, thereabouts. Why? Oh, all right, I'm trying. I'm building a machine. A machine of love. <laughs> Hundreds of gallons of hooch and love's gonna come pretty cheap. Please, friend. I'll pay. Just, just, just bring it here. It's for a good cause. Well, if anyone knows who's moving that kind of shine, it'll be that stagecoach guy in Rhodes. collecting for the poor. You, kind sir. Will you help the poor? I ain't so kind. Yes, you are, sir. You have it in you, I can tell. I'm a nasty bit of work, father. You're wrong on two counts, sir. I'm a humble brother, a penitent monk, not a priest, and you're a magnificent bit of work. You may have made some, some poor choices, but which of us hasn't? <laughs> you have no idea. But you do. And God does, and that's enough for me and for him. We shall see. That we shall, sir. But why don't you hedge your bets and give two bits to the poor? There are so many who will go hungry tonight. Sure. Bless you, sir. How are you getting on, anyhow? These are a somewhat apathetic lot, I'm afraid. Hmm. My, um... My mentor says that America is designed to induce apathy in people. It's a wonderful insight. He must be a wise man, your mentor. <laughs> well, sometimes he's a downright fool, but, well, usually he's the best man I know. That's wonderful. The, the thing is, I'm, well, poverty will always be with us. But slavery, I, I thought we had banished that. Like saint Denis is acting as a staging post for shipping slaves out to some of the islands. I don't believe it. It's 1899. Maybe you should take a look for yourself. I've heard that the pawnbroker down the block around the corner, the one with the green door, well, they say he sells more than forlorn trinkets. Help the poor. Ah, good morning, sir. Well, it's been a little while, eh? So, hey, I interstellar. Hey, be careful. Hey, what can I do for you? Morning. Hey, oh, Mama, 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 uh, nothing much back there. I, I'm afraid of just a, a few old books. Uh. Something don't seem right. Who's back uh, here? Uh, what are Looks you doing like back there? Pulls out or something. Pulls out? How about you open that door? Door? What door? The hidden door. Or I'll open the hidden door in your chest. They made me do it. I, I was always good to them, but they, they forced me to do it, sir. I, I swear. Open the door. Now! Oh, okay, okay. 
Just pull the big red book on the bookshelf. It's called The Scourge of Crossbreeding by Harold McDougall. Cállate, cállate. Hello. Por favor, ayúdanos. Help, please. Por, por favor. Please, I'm on your side. It's gonna be okay. Por favor. Don't worry. I'm on your side. Gracias, señor. Muchas gracias. Come with me. Don't worry. You're gonna be all right now. I promise. That's it. Come on. You'll be safe soon. This way. Not much farther. Poor bastards. Hi, Gamgala. Oh, well. No lo sé. Estamos libres. Tenemos que todo. Tenemos que confiar en él. Brother. Brother Dorkin's friend. Arthur. Arthur Morgan. Come on. You were right. I found these two imprisoned in that shop. Oh, my. That's... Well, they are blessed to have met you, Arthur. Trust me in that. They're very unusual. I don't think they speak much English. My brothers, come. Let's go get something to eat. Manger. Comida, please. Hey, he forgot this. Oh. Yes. Thank you. I... Uh... Here. Payment. For your services. I could not have freed these men myself. Give it to the poor, brother. Thank you. I will. Like I said, magnificent. Come on. Come, come, come. Come see me again sometime. I often work at the old church on Gasper Street in St. Francis. Maybe you change your clothes? Hello. Good Please day. Mind you Sorry, step. mister. My mistake. Please! No! Oh, oh you sir. bastard! Hey, I think that fella might have just fixed your body. All of it, too. Much for me. He's out of control! Oh, what did you do? I need help. Money or your life, you choose. No call for this at all. All right, all right, damn it, you got me. Shit, you don't need to tie me up. I think this is mine. Come on, this ain't fair. Oh, no.
can't get enough of the place, sir. Now, what's going on in here? Come now, don't doubt yourself. That looks excellent. I feel almost human. I take pride in my selection here. Everything here is of exceptional quality. Oh, my man, if I had a dollar for every time somebody said to me, haven't I met you somewhere else? Well, pardon my saying, but you look right handsome in that. All those shirts are reliable and comfortable, and they look great to boot. Yeah, yes, wear it well. That is one of my favorites. What color speaks to you? You might just be the best looking man in town wearing that. Excluding yours truly, of course. Let me know what I can do to help you leave here feeling good and looking great. Are you feeling good? Because you're looking great. People say us tailors all sound the same, but I find that rather offensive. You have exceptional taste. People around here come in just for those. You can really feel the quality of that one, right?
Now, what is your preferred color for this? I only stock the best in my shop. Buy from me, and you'll never be disappointed. Now that goes with just about any outfit. A good coat could save your life. A great coat will look good doing it. And that should be good. I stand behind everything I sell in this place, so you can purchase with confidence. We have styles for all persuasions, but I'm sure you'll fare well. That's good. I've been covered in worse, friend. Uh, uh, uh. Of all the days? Oh! Yeah, good girl. Yeah. Hello. Fantastic. You Americans are nothing but shysters and traitors and slippery tongue bull suckers. I'm inclined to agree. Ah, here, help me please. I'm back to work with a bloody smile. <laughs> no problem, Marco. You are the great genius, so we shall the hot poker up the ice. Say thank you, Marco. Thank you. Oh, thank you. What are you? Some kind of. European toy maker? No, I am a fucking genius with poker up the ass, like I say. <laughs> toy maker. Hello? Do I look like I should entertain children? No. No, he says. <laughs> no. <laughs> I am the savior of the mankind, Bobby. Yes, you meet him. Professor Marco Dragic. <laughs> they won the silver tongue American betrayal. 
and not pay the money to. Yes, he told to shit, man. So, uh, what's this toy about? It is not a toy, Big Nuts. It is demonstration of my genius, of my ideas about the source of life. Oh, it's a toy boat. Yes, it is a toy boat that I can power remotely using electricity in waves you cannot see. Good for you. <laughs> waves I cannot see. And still the investors will not come. Just a couple of old ladies and a moron. <laughs> ladies, please. <laughs> Ladies! <laughs> Gentlemen! <laughs> Enchanté! <laughs> Hello! Hello, sir! <laughs> okay, uh, how is the piles? Yeah? Good, good, good. Okay, my friends, you are about to witness history. A demonstration of my infinite insight. All of us, we feel old. You. You are old. Oh. But maybe I can make you immortal. Mm. <laughs> Using waves you cannot see, I will power this You're boat. a goddamn fraud. And this buffoon dressed up like a buffoon is a stoolie. I watch them conspire, you morons. Well, I, I never met this buffoon before two minutes ago. Isn't that right? Which part of it? Oh. So, Professor... Show us your magical toy boat. Only this time let the buffoon control it. Check if there's any funny business. No, this ain't nothing to do with me. Come, please, please. Uh, <laughs> it is easy. Any moron could do it, and I am about to prove that. Here, take this, and this, and... Uh, don't touch that. Use these ones to steer, and uh, this one to shoot torpedoes, okay? Yes, now, now blow up the little battleships and, and avoid the sea mites. They have magnets attached. Make a nasty explosion if they touch the bot. Okay, if this silly dimwit can use torpedoes on both the battleships, imagine what technology can do in the hands of certified idiots. And I have certificate. You see what he does? No wire on my telegraph, no pulley system underwater, only waves in the air. This is remarkable. Take those poor boys on the H.L. Humley. Eight of them perished to a mere five on the Housatom. No the way to go. Trapped in a box at the bottom of the bay. I suppose you intend to make an unmanned killing machine? You misunderstand. This is the secret to life, not death. Migration of this. There, I've gone for you. <laughs> yes, you see what he does? Now bring the boat back to the dock. That sure was something, but I'm not sure what, if anything, was proven here. <laughs> Let me just reload her. <laughs> this is really remarkable. This is just a, a demonstration of my prowess, sir. <laughs> the real miracles require investment. <laughs> ah. Now the dimwit will use invisible waves to destroy the little sailing boats before they get to the other side of the pond, still avoiding magnetic mines. Well, he'll attempt to at least. You're not here for this smart talk. Glad the breeze ain't up. The steam train, the telegraph machine, the motor car. They will all seem pedestrian in comparison to this technology. We are not reliant on wires or coal or gasoline. No, just look who rules the seas. Very good. Very good. Now bring in the boat back here. Foolproof. Undeniably foolproof. But you are not fools, and unlike fools, not fools and their money are difficultly parted. <laughs> then, as I say, any fool, huh? Thank you, thank you. What is that? It is the stuff of life, sir. It's incredible. No, no, no. Incredible things are in my lab, back at Dover Hill. That will astound all of you. Mr. Marcel, can I count on your support? Well, 
this is expensive. It is immortality, sir. It is it is very cheap. Perhaps over lunch. Maybe. I'm gonna go. Oh, yeah, of course. And, and thank you. Um, if you're ever up near Dover Hill, pay me a visit. There, I will really amaze you. Um, <coughs> I hope you will forgive my... See any more of my money? It's only temporary. This will all be sorted out Look soon, out. I promise. Hey, the whole saloon's overrun with rats. I'm losing business left and right. I need to get someone to get rid of them for me. I'll pay very well. I just all right. Calm down. Let me see what I can do. Oh, thank God. Just be sure not to bang around the place too much. Thanks, mister. Take this. Who earned every cent. I killed worse. Sister, my friend, Mr. Morgan. Oh, sir. 
brother Dorkings told me about the wonderful thing you did. Oh, he talks a lot of nonsense. <laughs> no offense. None taken. None taken at all. Hey, stop! He's kids that are worse! Don't hurt him, please! We'll be at the cathedral. Oh, no! You all right? Oh, I'll live. Kid did this? Hey, you know him? He robbed me. Which way you go? Uh, that way, I think. Thank you. Get off me! Where's my watch, you little weasel? I don't know nothing about no damn watch. Hey, you! Why don't you leave the boy alone? What's it to do with you? I can hit a lot harder than you. I promise you that. All right, forget it. No shit ain't even worth my time. Thanks, mister. <clears throat> hey, you want some company, mister? No. You sure? Hey, what? I don't know you. This is Downs? Oh, no, not you. Get away. How? Now, I mean, I, hey, help! Uh, Help! Hold on! This man is bothering me! Now. Someone help me! Officer, help! What <sighs> are On evening, sir. Ooh, watch yourself now. Every day, it's a new challenge, Father. When I was younger, those challenge. Mr. Morgan! Uh, excuse me, Father. Sister, I got your cross. <gasps> You didn't! No, I did. Oh, I hope the boy... He's fine, physically. Mentally, he's a piece of work, but who am I to say? Brother Dorkins was right about you. You are the most wonderful man. Brother Dorkins is... greatly deceived, I'm afraid, but I'm happy to help a little. Thank you. You see, it's a thing, but... My mother gave it to me when I was a novice, shortly before she passed. You are the most wonderful man. Oh, excuse me, Father. Sister, enjoy your day. See, Father? Brother Dorkins found him.